Larry Hebert is about to begin the more than 30 mile trek to his grandson's school. That's ridiculous. For the second time today. It just blew me away and uh, no one wants to give me answers why. Hebert says his grandson, who's diagnosed with Down syndrome, was suspended from riding the school bus for falling asleep. As soon as uh, the bus got back and dropped all the kids off, boom, they called his dad and said, boom, your son is suspended for three days for sleeping on the bus. Just like that, right out of the blue. Hebert claims it's not his grandson's fault that his medication causes him to nod off. Down syndrome kids, when, they, when they're sitting up, they, they sleep just like this. And he was facing sideways on a bus because she don't allow nobody else to sit with him. But school officials say that's not what happened. They say Hebert's grandson wasn't even asleep. The transportation manager for Lawrence School District 56 says the boy was suspended for sitting with his head pressed against the seat in front of him. That's extremely dangerous. His neck could snap if the bus gets into an accident, the transportation manager told us, adding, we've had problems with this student for more than a month. But Hebert says the problem is that his grandson has special needs. But this is emotional abuse on Ty because he don't understand. Bus, why can't I go in the bus? Hebert says he'll try to explain it during the long drive home. Tim Waller, WIFF News 4, Lawrence County.